hey guys in this video we cover all of the bits you need to know for light parts of physics for edXL if you want to follow along get all the keywords get all of your units for physics then you can do that by getting the free vision guide downloadable from my website When a wave is reflected, it is going to come in, meet the boundary, and then be reflected off. Our angle of incidence is always going to be equal to our angle of reflection. So we can always say that I equals R. Your normal line is in the middle here. It is a dashed line, and it is drawn at 90 degrees to the mirror or the surface that the wave is being reflected off. If we have a sound wave instead of a light wave that is being reflected, we are going to get an echo. Refraction happens when a wave passes from one medium into another medium, say from air into glass or air into water, and it will change direction. So here is our normal here, move it down to here. Um, it will change direction as it goes through there. And the reason it changes direction is because the wave changes speed, but different parts of the wave change speed at different points. So this part down here that hits um, first is going to change speed, either getting faster or slower before this part of the wave up here, which hasn't changed uh, medium or speed yet. When you shine light into an object, sometimes some of it will go straight through and some of it will be reflected. Other times when you shine light into an object, none of it will go straight through and all of it will be reflected. At the point where it's all reflected, you have total internal reflection. And this only happens at the critical angle. A converging lens is shaped like this, and this is a shorthand for it. It is used to correct long sightedness. It's going to produce a real image, and it's a type of lens used in magnifying glasses. I have made many, many videos showing you how to do ray diagrams, but just as a quick recap, for a converging lens, your first line needs to go from the top um, to the lens and then on the other side through the primary focus. Your third, second line needs to go from the top through the middle. I should extend that line a touch. Your third line goes from the top through the focus until it gets to the axis, then it runs parallel with the axis and is going to be there. Then over here we are going to get our image formed and that image is going to be upside down. So the top is there and the top is there. Your diverging lens is going to be curved in like this, and this is the shorthand. It's going to correct short-sightedness, it's going to give us a virtual image which is upright but smaller. Drawing a diverging lens, our first line goes from the top of the object to the axis, and then we need to backtrack through the um, focus on the same side. So I'm just going to draw a dashed line here, and then the line will actually go like that. And our second line needs to go from the top of the object through the middle. And where those two points cross, there is going to be our virtual image. Using a prism or water in this circumstance, visible light can be broken up into its different parts. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Red light is going to have a wavelength of 7 times 10 to the minus 7 metres, moving through to violet, which is going to have a wavelength of 4 times 10 to the minus 7 metres. Frequency, we're looking at the other way around, so the frequency of red light is going to be 4 times 10 to the 14 
hertz, whereas indigo is going to be 7 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Here we have the electromagnetic spectrum uh, from radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray and gamma rays. Um, over here these ones are high energy and these are low energy. These are going to have a high frequency and these ones a low frequency. These are going to have a short wavelength and these are long wavelengths. Wavelength for radio waves can stretch into the, the meters, the kilometers, very, very long wavelengths. Our radio waves can be used for radio communications. Microwaves can be used for mobile phones and for heating food. Infrared are used for things like um, the button, the, the light on your remote control. You can also use it for heat sensing. Visible light is used for cameras in your eye. Ultraviolet can be used for detecting things like um, fake money. Um, X-rays are used for broken bones and gamma rays can be used for treating cancers or sterilising things like killing bacteria. Lots of different surfaces would emit and absorb radiation. Some will do it better than others. Over on the right hand side you can see the practical, one of the required practicals that I've done for you. Good absorbers are going to be dark surfaces and matte surfaces. Good emitters are going to be dark matte surfaces. Good reflectors are going to be shiny surfaces.